Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPPNet video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning about do while loop. Okay? So if you have not watched my previous video which is about while loop then I strongly recommend please go and watch my previous video and you will get the link in the description field. So don't worry, go ahead and watch that first. There I have explained what is loop and how it exactly work in languages. Okay? And why do we need that? So if you will see that it will be real fun for you to understand this do while loop okay so i hope you know while loop before going for do while loop okay so as we know while loop work like this this is start and 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 here comes the statements you want to execute n number of time okay so this is the structure of while loop the do while loop is also doing the same thing but it look like this do starting bracket and bracket you will write while here and then round bracket similarly and your condition let's your condition is x should be greater than zero and one more important point you have to remember this semicolon here okay and this is what your do while loop look like okay and this is called entry control loop and this is called exit control loop so let's see why it is called entry control loop let's suppose you are not having n here there is some expression like x should be greater than 0 okay and before entering inside this loop you have something like integer and x is equal to 0 so after this statement if you are going to execute your while loop and as it is entry control loop it will stop you in the entry area okay so it will say that you are not allowed to enter inside while loop okay so if this condition is false you will run statement after this while loop but you will not go inside this so this is controlled inside entry time okay but this is called exit control loop because the condition checking is happening at exit time okay so let's suppose this is the statement before executing your do while loop and as it is the same value for x will come here and will execute whatever is there inside this loop one time and after executing everything for one time we will check is x is greater than zero if that condition holds we will go back and we'll do all those things again and we'll check this again okay and let's suppose this x is equal to 0 and you wanted to print let's call cpp nuts and you printed that after that you check x is greater than 0 no then you won't go back you will terminate so that's why this is called exit control because we are having this condition check at exit time okay this is your exit area this is the entry area so that's why it is called exit control loop and this is how it work so let's see the program here so if you have watched my previous video that also look the similar program instead of do while we had while there okay so let's understand the working of this so before working we'll compile this and we'll say see one two three four five so five time it is printing okay and exactly doing the same thing and as I said if this X is 0 then also this will print this statement and for that case just comment out this statement here and if you will run this see it still executed our CPP nuts one time and then only it is exiting okay instead of this if we are using while loop like this and X is greater than zero checked and we are supposed to print the same message cpp nuts then it will not print this okay so let's comment out this whole thing and we will just run this one and we'll see nothing is happening okay let's compile and see your finished message is coming but nothing is printed so this is entry control and this is exit control okay i hope you enjoyed the video Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.